Well, hello everyone, Dan Hurt, Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Today I'm doing a very short video on a new piece of equipment I just got. This is a duplex jig, a mineral jig, made by Riverdance Gold Mining Company. I asked them to make me one because I want to try it on gemstones. As you probably heard, my buddy Chris and I are opening up our very own gem mine peridot mine and one of the things we have to do before we open the mine is find a great way to extract the gem from the garbage and one thing I want to try is using a jig. I contacted the guys down at Riverdance Gold Mining Company and asked them hey would you make one for me and they were very generous and actually sent one for me free of charge so I want to make sure they get lots of exposure on my channel because they were so generous to me. Anyhow Riverdance Gold Mining Duplex Mineral Jig. Let's see how it works on gemstones. Now they have made this tool for gold recovery and I am sort of using it for something that's not necessarily intended for gem recovery. Now gold and gems both have the same principle that allows a tool like this to recover them. They're both heavier than the general gravels around them. Today I have three different garnet bearing gravel samples to test and we're going to see how well it does in recovering the garnets. Garnets have a very similar specific gravity to the peridot that we will be extracting. That's why I'm testing on garnets because we have lots of that material. We have not yet started our crush of the peridot material so I don't have any peridot material yet to test it with but I will soon. I hate it when I use my phone to film because I always look at the screen to see what it looks like rather than the camera so when the videos come out it always looks like I'm looking away from the camera but that's because I'm looking at myself on the screen. So right now we have the mineral jig just set up with a garden hose let's turn on some water and get it filling up. Here it comes, filling with water. Yes, this machine can be set to recirculate quite easy. And right now we just have it hooked up to some battery power. Let's get it pulsing. It can go on to AC, 110 AC, or 12 volt DC. Now I think I'm going to test with this material first. This is the material that I uh, actually ran through once on uh, the spiral wheel. The spiral wheel did a great job of concentrating the garnets, but it left lots of garnet in the material. So let's put some of that Oops. into the jig and see what happens. There might be an easier way, like a shovel, to do this. Definitely pulsing. You gotta stop there with about half of it to let you have a look. Now, when you're using this machine to recover gold, you actually have a metal shot, so little BBs of metal down in there. Because gold is heavier than steel, the gold settles through it. Right now, I'm using the garnets themselves as the media that's down in there to uh, start separating. So the garnets should go right to the bottom because they're the heaviest. Now, if this doesn't work, because you see how it's got a, a fairly significant blow through, I can turn down the water levels a bit, or I can put the shot in there to disperse that water from blowing through. 
Though, I have a feeling this is doing what it's supposed to. I think it's still separating the garnets. It feels really loose. Heavier stuff should fall down no problem. And these little baskets have a screen at the bottom. So anything that's small enough that fits through the screen is going down into the bottom here and then flowing out. Now, I don't really have much of a catch down here for it, but you can see loaded and garnet. I'm sure this little bin is gonna be loaded and garnet as well. But this small, small, small garnet is just throwaway material. Now, if I had more volume of material, I'd just keep going, keep going, keep going until I saw that was just like red with garnets. But uh, that was all I had of that material. So uh, because of that, because it wasn't very much, we don't really have the flow through on this. However, it seems to be doing what it's supposed to. Let's see how much actually went down into there. And the material coming off the end of the jig has absolutely no garnet in it. So it's doing what it's supposed to. It's concentrating garnet in the baskets. I'll be interested to see in this material if I can see garnet at the bottom. I definitely see black material at the bottom. It's heavies down there. Not seeing garnet down there, but this material didn't have much in it. I might have to start using the... Oh yeah, there's the garnet. Oh, the bomb's loaded in garnet. Okay, let's start using the material that is heavy in garnets in here and see how much it concentrates that. Yes, garnet is just lining the bottom. Now this bucket of material is concentrated garnet. Probably about two thirds of this material is garnet. So running it through should fill up those baskets in no time. Let's see how well it concentrates. I need myself a shovel. This is the material I make my garnet bags out of, my garnet gravel bags. So I am catching all of my tailings here in case this doesn't work right because I still need this material. But right now it does look like it is catching quite nicely. I do see garnet flowing over, but it should be catching in this second one. I'll have a look at a second. I'll catch a bunch of the material going off the end. Ooh, how about like that? and see how much garnet is going over the edge now that I've put basically, oh, like 50% garnet in there. I turned down the water flow a bit here so that this blow through wasn't so intense. And now I, what I'm seeing, like before I was actually seeing it blowing up so much that it was flowing over and out. Now it's not doing that. It should be keeping the heavies at the bottom. Maybe I had too much water flow. Still nice and loose. You can actually feel it pulse down and in. So anything that was heavy would definitely be sinking in those pulses. I keep catching tailings and checking and I haven't seen a single garnet go over yet. No garnets. You can see that the main basket now, the first basket, is full right to the top with garnets. The second one is starting to fill up now. And no garnets. 
I don't really get to tell until I actually put a new load in because that's when lots of stuff goes over the edge. Now new stuff is going over the edge, now I get to tell. You can see it blowing over the edge. Nope, no garnets. And you can see the back basket is full right to the top with garnets. You can see them, just garnets everywhere. Now underneath this layer, there's a layer of lights right on top, but it's a very small layer. Just straight up garnet below that. Ah, uh, there's lights in the back. The back doesn't seem to have gone forward much. Maybe I need to put my material at the back more to force that light stuff forward. Still lots of room in the front though. Now I purposely overloaded the back. I floated up so much that just garnet is straight flowing over. Look at how clean that garnet is now. I'm trying to fill up this front. I want to wait till I see the first few garnets going over that front edge, and then I'll know that this basket is as well is very full. This back one is like right full of garnet right now. Once I see it coming over the front edge, I'll know it's all full. I'll shut it down and I'll dump it out to see how it's done for concentrating. River Dance Gold Mining. One thing I am liking, I just grabbed a little handful right there to see how many garnets were getting ready to go over the edge. And all I see is black sand, black little rocks, which means it's the heavy rocks that are almost as heavy as the garnet, but the garnet's not going over the edge. That is awesome to see. It's pushing the heavy rocks out, yet still holding the garnet. So far, so good. Liking what I'm seeing so far. Okay, I'm seeing garnet right up near the front now. I put enough in that there's garnet probably going over. Don't worry, I'm keeping it all. Uh, these bins should be nice and full. Now, well, there's still a little bit of capacity in the front, I can take some of the lights at the back and just push them forward. Very surface only. Because that's the only place that there's actually light material still is at the very top. The rest of that's almost pure garnet. If I make garnet bags out of this stuff here, it's going to be the most concentrated garnet bags I've ever made. There we go. That's pretty good. same to the front. I will lose some garnet, but it will be caught for the next run. Be a bit more aggressive with this, but yes, it will work too. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay. Pure garnet. Absolute pure garnet. Well, I'd say for concentrating garnet, that is a big success. So, Dane. What do you think of the concentration ratios here on Garnet? Well, uh, the ratio is great, but I'm a little worried about the flood here. here. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. I pushed it long enough that I actually lost lots over the front, but I'm keeping all that. We can rerun it. But that is more concentrated than we've ever had. Oh. 
it uses the exact same principle as a gem sieve, pulsing water through. It just does it on its own. <laughs> rather than me do it manually. That is awesome. Well, it works on garnet. Uh -huh. Let's hope it works on peridot. And you can definitely see the difference between the tailings. When I wasn't overloading it, it's got no garnet at all. And the tailings where I was pushing it hard, where it has some garnet in it. Again, don't worry. I will rerun all of this material. Now this worked unbelievably well for the garnet. The question now is Peridot gonna do the same thing? Is the differential between the olivine basalt and the olivine crystals, Peridot, enough to separate? The fact that this was separating the black sand or the black rocks from the garnet makes me think it is. But I need some crush before I can do that. So now let's get some of that material, crush it, and test the olivine. That will be in its own video. And if you're going to ask what these garnets are used for, well, you're going to have to go back and watch my video from Garnet Beach, where I explain all the where to's, what for's, how for's, everything you might want to know about the garnets. But I just can't say it in every Garnet video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want your own mineral jig, river dance gold mining, I will leave a link below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I hope I earned it today. And a big thanks to everyone for watching. Have a nice one. Bye.